One area where we're seeing great advances in is in the area of low light photography with all the different night modes out there. So we've taken the flagships from Apple, Samsung, Google to see how will they do when it comes to capturing the night sky, the stars, the moon in this astrophotography face-off. Interestingly, it was the Pixel 3 that launched all of this with Night Sight. And then came the iPhone 11 with its own night mode. And eventually the Samsung Galaxy S22 came out with its version that was called Nightography. So what is night mode? Well, it's actually nothing really new. It's a form of long exposure photography. So essentially what happens here is that when you take a photo, there's more light being drawn into the camera sensor over a period of time. One of our video producers here at Tom's Guide actually went out to Cherry Springs State Park. It's a dark night preserve and it's actually the perfect conditions for astrophotography because there's minimal to zero light pollution in the sky. He took the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra, the iPhone 14 Pro Max, and the Google Pixel Fold to see how they stack up when it comes to capturing the night sky. He also used the Sony a7S III, which is renowned for its low light capabilities for photos and video, but he also set it up using a tripod, which I wanna mention that you'll probably want to use too with a phone because you wanna have as minimal shake as possible to capture the night sky. Here we have the Sony a7S III, and as you can see here, we have a pretty great image. But what can you expect from a $5,000 low-light beast? We have some major celestial bodies here, properly white balanced images, and lots of stars. Now we have the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra and the iPhone 14 Pro Max. They don't exactly stack up, but that's okay. These were taken in standard night mode with about 30 second exposure time. Both of these images are okay, but not great. You could make out some of the same constellations between the two, but we didn't get anywhere near the same result with the A7S III. The Samsung lineup has a lovely feature called Pro Mode, complete with ISO and shutter speed control. Now, this is where it gets interesting. With the ability to dial in your settings, it seems we're able to get an overall better image on the S23 Ultra compared to the iPhone 14 Pro Max, which has no such feature available. You can make out a few more stars and a bit more of the nebula in the arm of the Milky Way. For Apple, this is a major disadvantage in the low light department, and it puts the latest that Apple has to offer behind the competition. Now, what about the Pixel Fold? Well, this just may be the king of astrophotography at a first glance, although we do have some caveats. We're definitely seeing the most stars and constellations in the Pixel Fold's image. Our only issue is how much of the image is actually captured and how much of it is filled by AI. Your guess is as good as ours. Pixel's astrophotography mode takes about five minutes and captures a lovely little five second time lapse of the night sky. It's a unique feature to the Pixel phones. We're guessing this probably exposes several 20, 30 second images over five minutes to achieve this. Now, if you want to get started with astrophotography and you don't want to spend the thousands and thousands of dollars on a DSLR with a fancy lens, then go with the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra, primarily because of its Pro Mode. The Pro Mode is unique because it gives you those DSLR-like features. You'll be able to tune in the settings like the ISO, the shutter speed, and even the white balance. As for the iPhone 14 Pro Max, it's sorely lagging behind the competition when it came to capturing the Milky Way because it's missing the manual controls that we found the other phones. And as a result, it didn't capture as quite as many stars. On the other hand, if you could afford the $1,800, check out the Google Pixel Fold if you don't mind those AI enhancements because in our testing, it did produce some really crisp looking images of this night sky. And you also get the live photos with the astrophotography mode. So what do you guys think? Which phone did the best? Was it the Pixel Fold, the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra, or maybe the iPhone 14 Pro Max? Let me know in the comments. Make sure to follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. I'm John V, and I'll see you in my next video.